<clears throat> so what's up YouTube? I guess <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do here um, and how this is going to work and or look. Um, I'm going to do it kind of blind so it's a little aggravating. Um, but what the plan is is I'm going to do something here and I still have to work out some kinks trying to figure out how to get this to show up on my computer screen so that I can actually see what the fuck's going on. Um, but you know, I get a lot of um, requests for my top five or what's your top five, what's your favorite, you know, your favorite five shoes in your collection. Um, so I'm going to go over them right quick with you all and we'll look at this and we'll do this YouTube thing and see how it works out. Um, I'm not 100% sure how to do it yet, but let's go. So, uh, number five in the list is this. This is the PSNY um, 12, and I absolutely adore this shoe. Like the way this shoe looks is just a straight up balls. I just particularly. Um, the materials they used, the, um, the craftsmanship, like what went into it, uh, you know, it just it just looks different than every other 12, feels different than every other 12. You know, I'm waiting to see what these blue ones look like to come out soon, so we'll see what that is. But I just don't, I don't foresee it being on this level of quality. Um, even the insides, though, you know, it says public school on the inside, um, <clears throat> but this. My number five. Number five. Number four. Boom. Supreme camo. Um, and I love this shoe because it's um, this camouflage, man. It's uh, like so 12, 5, and 8, so like in that order are my favorite. Um, but this one, um, it's just that it's got that that camo appearance, you know. It's supreme, so the hype beast in me like jumps for joy and shit, like woo woo, fucking yeah, <laughs> it's a thing. So, you know, and it's got that. Well, I mean, I wear I wear my kicks, like I don't leave them in a box. I don't fucking like so you can see, um, you know, that little supreme bar there, the one on the back of the tongue there. You know, then that little guy. Yeah, but these things, um, I just love the way this shoe looks and the desert camo. It's the chocolate, chocolate chip one, um, and they don't. We didn't use this over there when I was over there. We use a. Uh, it didn't have these little uh, the things that look like chocolate chips, like right there. We didn't have that. Um, ours were a little different, but this design is just classic for me, and it's a five, so I have to do it. Number four. 2006 the Jordan 5 Burgundy um, these were a um, an urban release they released them in urban areas so they were a little limited but not I don't think they were super duper limited um, but again the suede on this is crazy like I love the feel of this shoe the look of this shoe and so for some people that yellowing um, People, people aren't a fan really of the yellowing. I personally like it. It means my shoe has some uh, some love to it. Uh, but that's this shoe. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Love this shoe. Now, interesting fact about this shoe is I got this shoe from StockX, um, right? And I specifically got this shoe from a Neo uh, deal where he was. Um, you know, auctioning off his shoes for a charity. Uh, that was pretty cool. I have like a certificate uh, of authenticity from Neo's collection. Um, he's from Atlanta, so, um, you know, and I didn't really care that they came from him. I just really liked the price that I got them at. Um, number two, one, two, three, yep, number two, boom, is a Bel Air 5. So yeah, you're gonna see a lot of fives here, um, but I absolutely love this shoe. There's nothing quite like this shoe out there. You know, it's just, look, 
fucking look at it. You know, it's cool. Um, oh, the other pair's got a pink jump man on the heel versus the green on this heel. The inside is just different. Like, they don't do stuff like this very often. And when they do, I want it. Um, they're even like, so this part here, the teeth on here right on this side they're pink on the other side they're blue my daughter's trying to sneak downstairs and not make any noises she's up there um you know so when there's crazy like the top three that's getting ready to come out i'm really excited about those because there's two different views um of that you know you know what i mean like there's just two different shoes you get two different shoes so this one has a green jet man the right one has a pink jet man so like this guy you know I dig it. So number one for me is a tie, all right? And they're both eights, and it's uh, the Aqua, Aqua eights. And there's laces in there. Shout out to at Laced Up Laces. Um, this is the, from their Galaxy Pack, but for me it just it matches really really well with the the tongue on there, and then. The other one is, uh, the other eight is a Dornbecker eight, um, which is my grail. You know, I love this shoe. It's just, and then, all right, so on here, I got the only shoe, you know, sole preservers are on there, um, cause I want to keep this shoe sole looking as fresh as possible for as long as possible on the icy sole. And plus that, that's just so dope, you know? That's so cool. But, you know, these are my favorites. This is my favorite Jordan silhouette. Um, the way the straps are, like how I just remember being completely in love with the, this shoe when it came out. This one and the, the Bugs Bunny um, colorway and the playoffs for that matter. All the OG8 colorways I, I absolutely love. Like, love. Um, so, this is my number one and my number eight. Or my, my number one A and B. Uh, yeah, yeah, favorite shoes. All right, so let me know what y'all think. Um, if it's something that we can keep doing, um, shoe reviews, unboxing, stuff like that, um, you know, or just blogs, vlogs. I don't really particularly know what I'm gonna do with this channel yet, but it's just a way for y'all to see me and my world. And, um, yep, I'll see how this goes. Dum, 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 dum,